welcome to the 2016 fashion review for the Fulton County 4-H Fair. I am Becky Malko, here with Libby Wojcik. Hello. We are going to be commentating today for the fashion review. The contestants are in the back getting final touches ready, I believe. Yeah. They had a practice and they know where they're supposed to go. So I think that they are finishing getting ready. And we saw a little sneak peek of a few of them, but we decided to stop looking at the stage so we can get that first reaction. But what we saw was definitely... Definitely cool. Yes. I yeah, I would wear. Definitely nothing that I could do. That's incredible what they can do. Yeah. We are starting with the consumer clothing with Reagan Becker. She made the blouse that she is wearing. It is made out of uh, paisley material in the front and it has a lace material in the back. I like that lace that she added. That was a nice touch in the back because I'm sure that making that triangle oh, yeah. pattern in the back was really hard to try and get that mm -hmm. symmetrical. Especially making any seams look yeah. seamless yeah. because of it being such a uh, thin material and lace having holes in it had to be hard. And if you would, if you looked closely, you could see that there was a uh, sl circle attaching the straps to the back, yeah. and I'm sure that was hard to try yeah. and maneuver that around. And wearing a blouse like that in the summertime, with like your swimsuit underneath, easy to take off at the beach, oh, easy yeah. to put back on, and it will and it'll very, stay dry. Very comfortable because it's probably because when it's hot outside, oh, it's yeah. not having a lot of materials. Yeah, hot outside like during fair week. Yes. Oh man. <laughs> This is our first event for Fair Week, actually. Yes. So for us, it has kicked off yep. officially. Reagan Becker was the only contestant in the consumer clothing category. So she did a fantastic job with her clothing. It's definitely something that I could not do. I'm very impressed. No, I could never make any clothes. <laughs> I've tried, and it just does not work well. <laughs> Next, we have the Junior Fashion Review with Emily Viger, who is in Division 1, and Abby Owens, who is in Division 5. So it looks like Emily is just getting started in her junior sewing career. Yeah. So, but Abby looks like she is, seems like she is a returner. So we'll see. I'm sure that there will be a little bit different level, but probably both incredible still. Oh, definitely. I know a lot of the time when it comes to 4-H and the divisions, sometimes it seems a little unfair with the grades that are put together yeah. with like Division 1 and 2 and 3 or senior, junior or intermediate and everything. But Because uh, sometimes those younger kids have to compete with the higher, with, with the, the, higher older, the older kids. Yeah. But, but in the long run, uh, a lot of the time it's the younger kids that are winning and that are getting it and, mm -hmm. and they just learn from their mistakes. Here is Emily Viger. She has on an adorable purple lace pattern dress with a matching purple scarf. Very incredible. Has a cinch at the waist with it's white on top and purple on the bottom, which I absolutely love the color purple. <laughs> I love that her scarf matches too. That's really cute. She is going down to the judges table now. Uh, I think they said that this is her first year in. Yes, I, yeah, that the, uh, that seems right. Which in the fashion, I, I feel like making <laughs> a dress like that is hard at any, any level, special, yeah. especially at the first level. Being able to do something like that yep. is amazing. I might have to uh, call up one of these contestants to have them make me a new outfit sometime soon. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I wish I would have known them when I. When I needed a prom dress oh. three days before prom. Oh, and no. Had to go yeah. to Goodwill they, I'm sure they could have probably <laughs> hooked you up well, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. I bet you. It's they probably made something nice. It's probably a lot uh, cheaper for them to get their clothing. That way they can make it themselves. They don't have to go to the store and buy it. Yeah, I wonder just how many of them do make, make and wear their clothes their regularly. Their own clothes? Yeah. 
If I could do something like that, I definitely would. Oh, but definitely. I'd be that so ready. That it takes a lot of skill to be able to do something like that. Next up is Abby Owens in her camo sweatsuit, which is fantastic. I love that she has it's the. So cool. She the majority of her jacket is camo, but then the majority of her pants are dark, so it like complements each other. Definitely. I think it looks really good. And. Imagine having to put a zipper on that. Oh, no. That is Zippers. so cool. Yeah. That is so awesome that she can do that. I just can't believe she was able to get it all the way down her arms. And that's a big problem I have is finding shirts that go all the way down my arms. She got it like the perfect length in like on her legs. She did nothing yeah. was rolled or anything. It's not exactly. short. It was actually the perfect length. Yeah. That's that's always something I look for when I'm when I'm looking for clothes is make sure that it's not too big on my arms mm -hmm. and long enough because yeah. I have very like skinny scrawny <laughs> long arms and, and that's probably a benefit of being able to make your own clothes because then you can yeah. make it just perfect for your size yes uh, that's where the, the contradiction comes in with hey can you make this for yeah. me though so yeah. that, that has to suck <laughs> I wonder how long it takes them to make these amazing outfits. It's got to take hours upon hours yeah. just to get it perfect. Definitely. I, think, I don't think I could judge. I don't think I could be I like, know yours both, is better than hers. I know they're like, both so good. I couldn't do that. Maybe if, like, they judge on the... It's like, everyone wins. I, I know, that's <laughs> how I feel. Yeah, exactly. I think that you both get great participation and beautiful work. They have both entered back on the stage and the judge is... Judge just repeated what we said. Is both the great... Is informing them of <laughs> their great work. Maybe we should be judges. Yeah, I think we should. But no, I, could, I don't think I could do it still. <laughs> Incredible work by the Division One Emily Viger and Division Five Abby Owens in the Junior Fashion Review. And that was very talented. Final category is Senior Fashion Review with Free Choice, sorry, Free Choice Carol Morris and Dress Up Wear Sammy Miller. We actually got a sneak peek of both of these girls' outfits when they yeah. were practicing, and I. <laughs> I'm so impressed. Like, I might ask them I to baffled. borrow them. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <it's laughs> we, we even asked Carol, we were like, why don't you just wear your clothes that you make? And she's like, usually they're too fancy to wear. <laughs> and then she had made a comment on, uh, and you'll see soon, but she made a comment on her outfit she's wearing today, and she said, well, these are just pajamas. <laughs> but I couldn't have I, I, no, told the I, difference. I would have I expected her to wear it. I would wear the outside. <laughs> <laughs> It is definitely perfect for the weather outside today. It's oh, pretty yeah, warm it's outside. Hot. outside. I, I regret wearing jeans. Same. <laughs> so our first contestant will be Carol Morris and with the free choice. Yeah, and what she's wearing, she told us, is uh, she made the the robe that she'll the, be wearing. Yep, and, and, I, and then her outfit underneath to read. Her robe's kind of like a reveal. Yes, it's like a... <laughs> she's hiding it until she has to. Yeah, she told us, oh, the only thing I didn't make was uh, were the socks. Which so. it wouldn't shock me if she could make the socks, I too. Know. These no. girls are amazing. And here we go with the senior fashion review. Carol Morris. Carol just finished up her senior year. She's not. She has not yet revealed. Yeah, she's but, not revealing it yet. But the pure talent of being able to make the robe is, yeah, like we said. It's so cute. I know. It's it's, like, heck, you could wear that outside and I wouldn't judge you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the reveal. Ah, I understand now. Very creative. I like Very the idea creative. of yeah. holding a, off on that. That and just a robe and pajamas, like you're yeah. at home and everything. Yeah. I just, I just realized that. It's kind of oh, like yeah. Yeah, sparked in my mind. So she has on the 
orange tank top on the top and then the floral pattern bottoms, which actually looks com completely comfortable. Yeah, I, f I feel like you would just buy this at, you know, at a Rue 21. Almost looked like she did, yeah. yeah. But that's, it's just amazing how they learn how to do this. I, I want to know who taught them. Uh, yeah. Or if they, maybe they taught themselves, which would be even more amazing. YouTube tutorial. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> The seams on her bottoms, you can see from here, the patterns match up, so it all looks really good. Yeah. She is informing the judge of the time it took her to make the clothing, and it only took her three days to make the robe and a day and a half to make the top, which to me is just crazy. That is so awesome. Now, when these are displayed at the fair, or at least I'm, I'm a member of Marshall County Fair, how we display our uh, clothing is we have our fashion show, but our show is actually during fair week and everything. Okay. Um, it's not any other time. It's kind of a it's it's a fairly big event and everything. And then what the the contestants will do is they'll take their clothes and they'll get a hangers, uh, pant hangers if they need it, uh, and just regular hangers for their dresses or anything. And they'll put them in the clear plastic bags and oh. then put them into the showcases. So for people the can see the week. who won and yeah and, and examine them themselves if they didn't come to the show. Yeah and. Uh, I don't know if Fulton County does that, but... Uh, that is I, a very smart idea. Yeah, that way everyone can absorb the beautiful artwork yeah. of these contestants. Uh, waiting now for Sammy Miller in her dress-up wear. Oh, we saw her dress earlier. And what, what would you wear that dress to? Anywhere. Anywhere. I would find a place to wear that dress too. It was In bed. beautiful. Yeah. I would just lay there. Just watching Netflix. Just, and just <laughs> watching some Netflix. <laughs> Wearing my beautiful dress. It is. <laughs> just to feel like a princess. Yes. It, and it that is, is a perfect way to describe those. Yeah, it yeah. is seriously a princess dress. It's not long, but it's still princessy. Yes, I agree completely. I'm, I'm so excited. Ah. Oh, so pretty. Yay. So this is a pink dress with sh like sparkly Sheer. tool over the top or oh I just yeah it's just incredible it, and the way it sparkles and then on the top there's like a see-through portion where it's only the sheer but and like the, the sheer has its own color to it kind of like a brown yes or like a dark gray, gray yeah. tint and it just looks so cool it kind of looks like it complements yes, the dress very it well it really does and the fact that she was able to put the sheer in um Oh, in, the, in the arm area. Oh, yes. And then if you look on the front, there's like a detailed pattern. Yeah. And it's like, just like brings it out more and around the waist. It's just... Yeah. But the, the arm area just in itself, it's like so hard to get that and to sew through that tool. And you have to imagine material. like placing it perfectly on your shoulders so it falls right on your legs exactly. and on your waist. and Yeah. It's very awesome. You have to wonder... Do you think their uh, guardian or their parents kind of help them measure and you would you would ha you would have you to can't measure know, yourself yeah <laughs> and how many times they put it on on and, and off, it on, on and off yeah. yeah which putting the dress through without wear and tear is and it's still looking amazing it's awesome it's definitely durable oh yeah coming back on the stage in their outfits. Two, again, two incredible outfits. I don't know how they could choose. It's hard because they're also two completely different outfits. So yeah, trying they are to pick completely different. We exactly. have the dress up and then the pajama. Yeah, and the best part about her dress, I'm looking at it right now, fingertip length. She yes, can wear that she can to wear school. it to school. There you go. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> The judge is informing them of how great their work was and how proud she is of their 
skill. I think that <laughs> and that puts a wrap on this year's Fashion Review 2016. Thank you for joining us. Tune in next week for more 4-H Fair on RTC-TV.